Walking in a video game is a waste of time. Pressing up is stupid. Welcome to the best show in the universe, I'm Maddox. One of the things I hate most in modern video games is walking. It's boring and pointless. One of the earliest games that forced you to walk for hours was Zelda Ocarina of Time. All you do in Ocarina of Time is walk. It's a boring piece of shit. There, I said it. I know all you idiots love that game, but I'm tired of pretending like I'm interested in your conversations at parties when you're gushing about Zelda. Oh, oh Zelda. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love Zelda. Oh, more Zelda. All you do in the game is press up. That's it, you stupid idiots. You press up for hours. They should rename the game to Zelda Soggy Dicks for Stupid Idiots. If an alien came to Earth and asked you to explain how to play the game step by step, you'd say things like press A or B, and then press left or right a few times to get on track for your next checkpoint, and then press up for hours until you get to the next village. Look at the game input on a game like Street Fighter, and you're constantly pressing up, down, left, right, and tapping six buttons. It gives your hands something to do. That's why my hands are so cut. Even an old school shooting game takes lots of inputs, which requires you to think and react to the game. Older games like Metroid had to fit more of the level on a smaller screen, so it forced the developers to make the level design compact. You had multiple enemies on screen at a time, lots of interesting platforms to get to, and things to do. Modern games, on the other hand, have more memory and resources available to them, so they can make big empty maps that meander and don't really go anywhere. Once you get to these places in the game, there are things to do that are sometimes fun, but why do we still have to spend hours of our lives walking to it? It's like a penalty we have to pay to have fun. It's almost as if developers all secretly know that their games are filled with boring walking, so they try to sweeten the deal with a horse. Again, Zelda is the gold standard for the shitty device and one of the first games to give you a horse to make walking less painful. But it doesn't work because you soon realize that you're still just pressing up. There's a horse in Assassin's Creed, Last of Us, and Elder Scrolls. Yeah. There's even a horse in Witcher 3, which is another boring game that every idiot popped a boner over, when the core gameplay consists of pressing up, and having a horse doesn't make it any better because A, it only speeds things up a little bit, and B, horses are stupid assholes who laugh like idiots. Horses should be turned into glue. <laughs> idiot. Even in Metal Gear Solid 5, a game I actually like, all you do is press up. And guess what? More horses. Having a horse in a third-person game is a guaranteed sign that you're going to spend a lot of time looking at your map and pressing up. It's like the developers want you to go on a scavenger hunt every time you play just before your mission starts. The core gameplay is fun, but they keep hiding it behind hours of walking. Just get me there already and stop making us spend our lives pressing up to play your stupid game. Shadow of the Colossus is one of the most revolutionary games of our time, but even this game has hours of long, boring walks with a horse. You know what's better than riding on a horse? Anything. Look at this boring stroll you take in Fallout 4. All you do is walk. There is a great example of pointless walking in the PS3 game Nino Kuni. You enter the temple, and then you have to press up for a while until you get to the guy you need to talk to. Why? What's the point? Why can't this hallway be shorter? I don't care how big the environment is because it's all fake anyway. You're not going to impress me with a virtual building that you could make 10 times larger by changing a line of code. Some developers tacitly acknowledge how boring walking is, so they try to fill the environment with plants, herbs, and small fry enemies to fill your time. No thanks, idiots. I don't want to play a flower picking simulator. I just want to play the game I paid for. Stop making me go on a hike every time I want to play a game. If I wanted to hike somewhere, I'd go on an actual hike with fresh air, sunlight, and a chance of meeting people. My life would improve significantly. I don't want that. Just let me sit in the dark and kill people alone. And yeah, I know everyone loves Ocarina of Time and I know I'm gonna get shit on by all you crybabies, so go ahead and vote this video down, idiots. See if I care. Doesn't change the fact that the game sucks shit. Just get me there already. I'm tired of pressing up in video games. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maddox. You know what, if I had to walk that much in real life, I'd walk off a cliff. I'd walk into a wood chipper. I'd walk into the ocean and hold my breath forever. I'd walk into church. That's how boring video game walking is. I'd rather go to church. I'd rather play Penn and Teller's video game, that boring ass piece of shit, where all you do is just press up and then to the left a little bit every now and then. That's more interesting than walking. You like pressing up so much, why didn't you give me a thumbs up, dickhead? I know you won't, because you guys love Zelda. Ooh, Zelda.